Hello, welcome to our channel. Today we are doing uh, a little update on what has been happening lately in our house, in our garden. And uh, just to also say that we have been a little more quiet these days for the past two weeks because um, it's been raining here a lot. It's been raining pretty much all day for the last week or two and uh, we haven't really done much with that. We also have hired some builders to do finally some work on the house, uh, but I will explain everything about that soon. But that also means that we just had to move out of, our, of the house that we are living in into the annex that we have. Our living situation is a bit different now as well. So yeah, we've been busy doing a lot of other stuff that is not gardening at all these days. And uh, yeah, we didn't have that much time to check in on here or check in on our garden, but um, it's okay. That is the whole plan of why we were focusing so much on gardening as well so quickly as soon as we mo moved in because because we wanted to finish a lot of the works in the garden um, and plant things and get things going here before we start move start doing any renovations in the house so because we know it would take us busy and we also knew it's going to be a lot of rainy days and we will not be able to do things in the garden so yes for that reason we are pretty much been spending the last two almost three months now in the garden and less so in the house but hopefully if everything goes well we will be focusing on the house soon a lot more but we will keep you updated with all the garden stuff that is happening how things are growing so one of those days are is today so i will just show show you quickly what has happened what has grown if we still have any cabbages left so first i wanted to see how our cabbages are looking and uh as you can see here it looks like oh no it's all eaten oh my god look at this sad leaf but then i looked closer and hello broccoli they are finally coming out and we were really thinking that these worms have eaten it all and they're not gonna come out but here look we are starting to see some broccoli heads i'm so excited about it so really really need to keep an eye on them right now we didn't know that they will take this long to grow but people kept saying no they they take a long time and to to come out and blah blah but we were like, no, these, they are all dead, nothing is going to come. So it is really, really exciting to see something finally showing up. So yeah, but these first three are kind of more bigger and this is still small. These cabbages, these other cabbages are looking so much better. I don't know if you have seen our previous video where we showed what they looked like after the big worm infestation and when I cut lots of leaves off but here you can see that they just seem to be getting back on track and also I'm not seeing any worms today just one I found one in, in this one but look at this it's farming ahead and I don't know maybe it's because it's cold outside but these things are looking a lot better so the hope is still there and these are our cauliflowers it's hard to see if they're forming any head but I think they are because they are kind of like wrapping the leaves around something so I think that might be cauliflower and then look at this we have this little veggie garden full of mushrooms just full of them so I picked some up. I don't think these are to be eaten. I definitely would not risk, but it's just so funny. And guess what? Look at these oranges. Just wow, I love this look. The only thing is that a lot of them have been infested already before we even got here, but they have some kind of like a 
fruit fly or, or some kind of thing like that that it just kind of eats them from the inside a lot of them when you open are not good anymore but we have seen some that has that fallen on the ground already and they're good so they look really nice so i'm hoping we're gonna eat something soon from here and then look at this clementine tree wow it's full of fruit and it's just seriously just a couple of weeks ago it looked like there's only one branch of fruits but now it just looks full of them and now that you can see that they're turning orange i'm like i can't wait these are some peas that we had planted a few weeks ago we had them in little pots from seed and now they are like these but we have some more peas on the other side that don't seem to be surviving so well like these ones they just uh, don't seem to be very happy here and those ones further there as well and yeah the plan is to grow quite a lot of peas because we like peas these broad beans are growing really well as a, at least they look like we have some here we have some here as well they're looking really good actually and um, even though it's not something we eat a lot they s they're supposed to be very good for the soil so i guess there's nothing bad of planting some more there's also another fun thing that we discovered in our garden recently is that we have a lot of random plants growing in our garden that we haven't even planted they probably just came from somewhere i don't know maybe they used to have used to be growing there in that space but yeah it's pretty funny to discover any random plants so let me show you what do we have here we have a lettuce in a flower bed and then we have lots of them here there's obviously lots of other weeds and stuff but there is it's full of lettuce these slight green things are lettuces we also have a lot of wild mint growing not like wild but they they used to have it here before and i they didn't look very nice so i kind of picked them all off so i'm just gonna leave them here because i love mint tea so i'm waiting for these to grow so that i can dry them then we have this poor little cabbage growing in the between the pavement it's a bit on the one side now i suppose kobe has run all over it but uh yeah we have so many of these all over the garden i don't know how do they self-plant these but they these people used to have lots of cabbages here uh, that we in one of our videos we are we're showing how we were taking them all out but they seem to be very persistent to come back <laughs> so we have a garden full of random cabbages and the most interesting thing is this tomato plant that we've discovered here under our olive tree i don't know how did it get here look at this healthy cabbage growing completely out of nowhere i didn't plant it it just came up here uh, this is a variety called cove galega in portuguese which is used to do a very famous soup here uh, and they grow really tall and they grow for years and years um, so yeah it, this is the best example of <laughs> what a food forest should be i guess just let things uh, grow naturally and uh, we were not expecting this but our garden is just covered in them i think this is the biggest one probably but let me see here is another one there's tons of them it's really cool to have these random plants just growing we could obviously be taking care of them with all the lettuces that were there uh with all the cabbages but we already have some planted so we're not really doing anything for them